Oh, hey, strugglers. I'm a tad befuddled. I want to chat about liquid death today. What, what's that? What's liquid death? Well, judging by the name, you might think a rodent exterminator or a Danny Phantom villain, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> You're not even close. I'll show you the can here, okay. Look at this. Now what do you think it is? An energy drink? Beer, perhaps? Again, no. You suck at this. No, it's dihydrogen monoxide. Water, if you will. That's right, baby. The hottest new product, national phenomenon, regular ass water. We're going backwards. Okay, so the thing that confuses me the most about liquid death is, as we previously discussed, it's literally just water, not even flavored, just good old fashioned agua, just like grandma used to make. So then why is it that everybody is treating it like it's more than that? For example, I keep seeing videos of people shotgunning them. What is, why are you doing this? That's not a thing people do, shotgun water. And it's all the time. I keep seeing these videos. Typically you'd shotgun a beer, but this isn't beer. The confusion is obviously a massive part of their marketing approach because lest I repeat myself, they're selling water. We've all had water before. It's not exactly sexy, especially in today's more environmentally conscious world. Single serve packaged water just isn't turning people on like it used to. So they gotta get you scratching your head, you know, pique your interest enough to try it for yourself. Yes, it's just water. They're not hiding that, it's plastered all over their branding, but there's still gonna be that little voice in the back of your head that's like, is it really just water though? There's gotta be a catch, right? There's just some big joke that I'm not in on? Like NFTs? This shit is crack. Shout out Liquid Death. Imagine somebody talking about Ice Mountain this way. It just doesn't happen. Sheesh, bro, I just can't get enough of that stuff. Got me itching just thinking about it. Call me a frickin' H2O. See, liquid death will clean my dirty face. Let's go. Before. Let's check it out. Yes, of course it will. It's, it's water. Drip. Let's get cleansing. What is this? Why are we showing it off? Like, it, it's water. <laughs> Am I going insane? Like a savage. But Scott. That's the joke. I know that. And I know the brand is consciously being ironic about this stuff. Of course, Liquid Death as a company is very self-aware. Most people get the humor instantly. Okay, yes, I'll give them that. Most people probably do get the humor. I need to murder my thirst. Yeah. Murdering my goddamn thirst. I'm murdering my motherfucking thirst. Take my thirst in a headlock. Yeah. Pop the thirst down on the floor. I'm murdering my motherfucking thirst. You but it's the people that don't that amaze me. Like, I don't think this guy gets it. Yo, water in a can. Yeah, are you shocked by that? No way, no freaking way they put water in a can? It simply can't be done. Yes, it is nothing. There's nothing happening here. You're trying water. It's water, man. It's water. This is what I'm talking about. You're not buying something special in terms of the product itself. You're buying, you know, the, the brand, the aesthetic. It's one thing to be like, yeah, this company has funny ads or whatever, and I like the vibe of everything. But there's so many people that are acting excited about the water itself. Why? <laughs> You've been bamboozled. When I made this brand, I didn't set out to be like, I'm gonna create something that's gonna be worth a billion dollars. I was more like, I wanna create something that's gonna make my friends laugh. <laughs> you don't start a company to make your friends laugh, Mike. You just don't do it. That's what memes are for. You text a meme to the group chat, Spencer responds with a crying laughing emoji and you move on. The most reliable way to learn about anything nowadays is local morning news shows. So let's see what Let's see what they have to say. I was buying some sweet tea and I was just walking by the, the juice section and this one can just caught my eye. Was it liquid death or death water? I liquid, liquid death, liquid okay. Death. So we decided to taste it here so, and it was good. Was it just water? It, it would was it taste just like water. water. Okay, it, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who's confused. You don't usually, let me calm down for a minute. <laughs> you don't usually refer to plain water as being good, as tasting good. It's literally water that's in a can and it's so good. Yeah. Water. And it was good. It, it would taste like water. water. And listen, I can already see the comments that are like, well, actually, most waters do taste different, and I can actually differentiate the different brands. And whatever. 
Whatever. I'm not discounting your super cool taste buds. That's that's great for you. Can I just say, obviously I'm speaking in generalities here. Um, what kind of video would this be if I <laughs> didn't? But like when you're drinking packaged water, what do you expect? <laughs> I guess what I'm getting at is that usually it's either bad or it's water. There is no good. That being said, I got to know, so let's try it. Wow, liquid death mountain water. I wonder what's in there. Don't mind if I did. I don't know what I was expecting smelling that. Here we go, a little ASMR for you. I deserve so much more than this. All right, well, the jury is in. Is that a phrase? It sure is water. That's water. I don't know what to tell you. It's water. Now, is it bad water? No. It's not like I just dipped a mug into a lake or something and I'm drinking that. It's, you know, but it's exactly what you think it is. It's just <laughs> filtered water. And I know these effers just Burger Kinged me and tricked me into trying it or whatever. Sometimes you gotta take one for the team and I'm a team player. It just seems silly to me that somebody would take a sip of this and be like, oh, that's so good. But it doesn't stop there. This was the plain water. They also have a sparkling variety. So I figure we ought to try that as well. Uh, here goes nothing. Bottoms up. Oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. No, I'm just kidding. It's TV static in a can. <laughs> so just as I suspected, it's uh, water and water. And these guys have somehow branded their way into the conversation. <laughs> Congratulations, I suppose. I, I don't hate this by any means. I have nothing against it, right? They're doing their, they're doing their dance. Don't mind me. I would like to see what the haters have to say about it though. Fragile masculinity has an absurd new product, extreme water to murder your thirst. Need to get all up in someone's face about just how much you are completely sober, but also kind of thirsty? Do it with a tall boy of water with skulls on it. Can LaCroix Key Lime do that? No, no it cannot. Hell yeah, Rachel. Liquid death is for Pathetic tiny dick losers, exclusively. Also, why doesn't everybody just drive an old Ford Pinto? Why do you need a cool new car that you like the look of? Does the Pinto not get you from A to B? Does it hurt your fragile little ego to drive the Pinto? F personal preference. Am I right? Every brand has an aesthetic. You're gonna sit there and talk shit about liquid death and then turn around and act like LaCroix is any different? They're both water in a fancy can. Get over yourself. Why am I so aggressively coming to the defense of a water company? <laughs> I promise I'm not actually this passionate about any of this. <laughs> Plenty of brands have loyal followers, right? Why else would somebody spend $650 on this atrocity from Gucci? Look at this. Good God. This person knows it too. They're like, for real? Why you got me wearing this nonsense? Well, Liquid Death is no different. They're counting on their loyalty because I don't see just anybody spending nearly $6,000 on a Liquid Death vending machine or a $64 cardboard cutout. If you own this, you're in way too deep. I am also just a little bit off put by their whole sell us your soul thing that they've got going on. Apparently I didn't read the fine print and now Liquid Death officially owns my soul. Instead of just having a normal newsletter like every other company, they have you sign this contract agreeing to give ownership of your soul to Liquid Death. But hey, at least you get a free t-shirt. I don't know anything, but I, I this looks like a legitimate contract. It's probably not, but it looks like it. Call me old fashioned, but I don't want some company owning my soul. I already did an ad for Raid Shadow Legends last year. That was close enough. Somebody should ask, Legal Eagle, if this contract would hold up in court. I would love to know. I get that it's all just like an edgy joke or whatever, but I don't like the joke. <laughs> and since I don't like the joke, liquid death should be outlawed. Am I right, everybody? Oh, what do you say to that, folks? Get liquid death off the shelves. So the part I haven't talked about yet is the environmental aspect of the brand. Part of the reason it's called Liquid Death is because we're trying to bring death to plastic bottles because most plastic isn't actually recyclable. Join us and Liquid Death in our mission to bring death to plastic bottles. And I'm no expert. 
but this is what I've read. Aluminum cans are way easier to recycle than plastic bottles, which is good. If you have to drink packaged water, I suppose liquid death is better in that regard, but it's not a perfect solution by any means, because apparently aluminum is a tad messy to mine in the first place, and all the shipping back and forth of the water and the packaging and all that stuff that goes into it leaves a footprint as well. Still though, arguably better for the environment than a plastic bottle. Another thing is they donate a portion of their profits to organizations that help end plastic pollution, according to their website. And I don't exactly know a whole lot about those organizations, but whatever, I'm inclined to believe them. No company has ever lied before. What are you, crazy? Companies don't lie. A downside is that you can't really refill, like you can't refill this. Once you've opened it and drank out of it, you could, but like, I don't think people are gonna do that. You could do that with a plastic bottle, in theory. You could use it multiple times. You definitely can't reuse this if you're shotgunning it like a weirdo. So that takes it down a peg. And strangely enough, they promote videos on their social media like this. Y'all asked for the dumbest way to open up a can of liquid death, right? This is wasteful. Why are they sharing videos of people wasting their product? Don't be scared. The water's gone, big guy. You didn't even hydrate with it, it's gone. Yeah, it's just water and the aluminum can can be recycled, but they still had to ship the product at some point. So like all of that was really for nothing other than a TikTok. I just, I, whatever, I don't know. We don't need to promote being wasteful as an environmentally conscious brand. Liquid death, how dare you? No. What do I think about liquid death in general? Okay, I think they advertise similar to the way that Bang Energy advertises, where it's just like, get it in front of as many eyeballs as possible. Who cares if people are annoyed by it? We want people to see it. That is a heck of a way to grow a company. I'm sure they're thriving and I'm sure they will continue to grow because of it. In theory, I think it's probably better than drinking out of single use plastic bottles. Obviously not as good as just a standard reusable bottle, but you know. And I don't know, I think it's freaking water that 30 plus year old white guys with a podcast like to drink. So if that's your thing, then go for it. Why not? You're welcome for all the free promotion, by the way. And I'm sorry to all the viewers in advance for all of the liquid death ads you're gonna see now. Anywho, that's really all I got today. Just a good old fashioned Scott being confused about some nonsense. It's been a minute since I did something like that. All right, as always, if you can, I would suggest taking a break from social media. Might clear your head a little bit. I sure know that I feel better since I deleted it off my phone. Listed here are my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. That's about it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Um, I'll talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.